You're not going to be happy if you don't have inner peace. So inner peace is basically what we want. We want to be in a state in our lives that there's no turmoil, internal, internal turmoil. So we're thinking that if I get the object, if I get the car or the money or the house, I'm going to be happy because there won't be internal turmoil. But you may get the house and now you have tax issues and then something happens in the house or it's a really fancy house. Now you're worried that Maybe somebody wants to break into the house and kidnap your kids. So that's still not happiness. The happiness you're looking for is to be in a state that there's no internal turmoils. You're at peace within yourself. It has nothing to do with the objects. Does it make sense? Yes, no, yeah. So it's the inner peace that we're looking for. That's where the treasures, the treasure is. That's what that's the kingdom of the heaven. It's not the objects. So you work in that direction. And of course, as you're working in that direction, your intuition gets stronger or, or you begin to notice your intuitive knowing that reveals itself to you. Hi, Laura. Did you move to Miami? You were, I think. No. You were, hi, I thought you, you were moving to Miami, right? No. No, you no. were moving. You were moving somewhere. No. Okay. No, I'm mistaken. still in Los Angeles. Oh, still in Los Angeles. Okay. Well, nice to see you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, for some reason, I thought you're moving. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I actually haven't signed on in a long time. Well, it's nice to have you here. Nice to be here. Okay. Who's that? Engun, did you want to talk to me? Were you waving at me? Yeah, no, yes. Go ahead. Um, okay. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I thought you waved. You wanted oh, to talk to me. Uh, I was just kind of looking at the chat box, <laughs> what was oh, standing okay. there. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, thank you for this evening. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, Rishka, with 5D healing, how can we heal our family? Yeah. Hi, hi, Rishka. Do you feel like unmuting yourself and talk to me, or you prefer the, the chat box? Are you there? Uh, oh, Rishika Das. I'm sorry. R Rishika. Rishika Das. Hi. No? I prefer chat. Okay. Hi. Uh, first of all, when I saw your name, I thought it was Krishna Das. So for one moment, I thought, wow, Krishna Das is visiting us today. <laughs> well, welcome. Um, all right, let me go through with 5D healing. How can we heal our family? Um, I mean, that's a broad question. So I don't know. Um, that's 
I don't know how, I, I don't know what to answer because uh, what are we talking about? Are we talking about physical healing or emotional healing um, using fifth dimensional quantum healing? How do we heal our family? Well, and then are we talking about uh, our direct family or, or spiritual family? Uh, working with the family is a little bit tricky because a lot of times, a lot of us come from this background that we're the black sheep in the family and we're not where I've never been accepted as who we are and what we do and we've been mocked and made fun of so I don't know if this family you're talking about is open or not but basically more than anything is to it's the presence what I've discovered with my direct family is uh, presence when I'm with them. Uh, I can't talk about these things because they're not open to it and they don't believe in it. Even though for years they've been seeing me doing what I'm doing, but they have no interest whatsoever in what I do. Uh, except sometimes they may get a little curious but it's never like anybody coming to me and asking me uh, to talk about any of these teachings. It has happened that uh, there's been pain or physical discomfort that the medical doctors could not help him. And out of desperation, they've asked me to do some healing work on it. Um, so with family is kind of very it's kind of tricky because they don't really look at you uh, the way other people do. People who are into this world. Uh, so what I notice personally for me is I keep my mouth shut and I don't say anything. I don't preach to them. I don't try to enlighten them. Um, I'm just a very ordinarily ordinary with them, but I also, in the meantime, don't go into the story, to their stories, their fears, they're worried about this and that, whatever is the story which is happening, which is, whether it's a war or it's economic, uh, an e economic crash or it's the COVID, Whatever is the story, the topic of the day or the time, I don't get into it with them. I just there. So it's more of presence. Your presence changes things. Because if you have discovered inner peace within yourself and silence, then by just being somewhere, you're affecting your environment and you're affecting your family. You're bringing calmness to them. Somehow they're getting calm and quiet. Very well, we're coming to the end of our academy. I'd like to thank you all for being with me. Um, my pages, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, they're all uh, Zaratustra 5D. That's the name of the page. Uh, my, you can email me at, uh, it's info at Zaratustra.tv, as well as my website is Zaratustra.tv. TV. Uh, our next academy is going to be next uh, Wednesday. I'm going to do my best to be more, uh, as consistent as I can be. Uh, sorry, a couple of times we couldn't make it, but 
hopefully we're going to be sticking to every Wednesday and uh, be consistent. I look forward to seeing you. Feel free if you want to write to me. I'll be happy to respond to you. Sending you lots of love and light. Until next time. God bless.